Hey guys, got my OBS out here. I'm getting tired of just seeing it around infected. So we're going to start test fitting some of these new parts. We're going to make a push to get this thing body worked and primed and painted. Just getting the brackets off the old rear bumper. Let's see how these Chinese bumpers fit. Back bumper. Surprisingly, uh, fits pretty well. I really help didn't me, think it fit that well. Help me. Considering where it's probably yeah. built. Help me, help me. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to test fit the front bumper and the grill. We got a week, week till Labor Day. We we'll get three day weekend. We're gonna try to get everything done so I can get this project over with. Trying to get the grill out. I don't think the new grill is going to fit very well. I definitely don't like the way the, the bow tie is. The bow tie sits flat on the old, the new grill, and the old grill it's recessed into the grill. So that's probably going to look like crap. But we're going to get it on here and see what it looks like. See how it fits. Hopefully, it fits as well as the back bumper. Well, after trying to get the fitment on this for a couple hours now, finally got it halfway livable. This definitely didn't fit like the rear bumper. I really don't like the fitment of none of it. All oh, this trash. Gap in here is bigger than I would like it to be. All out of adjustment. Tried bending some brackets. Don't like it. The bow tie on this grill is not recessed. It looks completely horrible. I wouldn't recommend no eBay grill for sure. Let's see if I can get a, a flat bow tie to sit in there better. Or maybe modify that one. I did weld the hose closed for the license plate holder on the front. I'm not gonna run a front license plate. But all in all, we're, we made it livable. I think it's gonna be all right. So it's gonna be a drivable street truck. Test fitted the new mirrors. They seem to fit pretty nicely. Better than some that I've had in the past. They worked out. Now we got everything test fitted. Everything's looking good. I got some of my dents marked. I'm gonna sand it off and start doing all the body work. Whoa, little boy. But this turned out okay -ish for right now. I'm gonna live with it. It's not perfect, but like I say it's just gonna be a driver. Now it's on the body work. Now we're gonna start this body work. What we do is we usually just go around, find our dent, circle them with a marker. Keep in mind, anytime that you see a dent, if it's a dime size dent, it's usually two to three times the size of what you're really looking at. So, you know, account for that as you make your circles. And then after we find all the dents that we want to find, or all the dents that we want to put filler on, we just take a grinder with a tiger paw or a sanding disc and we just sand, sand the paint off down the very middle
just mix up some filler after that. Slap the filler on all these ground spots. And then get the sand. Feather it out to the straight. Just mixing up a little batch of filler. That's about how much hardener you want. After you put some out, just put a line across the top from one side to the other. And then just mix all your hardener in. That's about it. On body filler, you can see I've already sanded these spots. I just rough it in. Most people block their filler, but I just use a palm sander, like this. And I just rough in all my filler, because I use filler primer, and that's when I do all my blocking. You can usually tell when you got your dents full after you sanded it. See like this one here, you can tell that I didn't put enough filler in there. Just little door dings here and there, filling up. Stuff that the filler primer won't fill. Found a couple more dents along the way of sanding. He's just filling them now. fill this one on the extended cab up some more maybe on. gravity kind of plays hell with you sometimes but that's all it is we're gonna let that set up and then we're gonna go ahead and sand that off too and once you got all your body filler usually have little little pinholes, little air bubble holes in your bondo spots. What I do is I fill them up with spot putty and then you just sand it back off and it fills up all the little pinholes. I use the bondo brand glazing and spot putty. Works really well. The trick for this is when it hangs on the shelf, it always hangs like this in the package. When you get it, just set it upside down in the package for a day because it separates inside here. And if you don't turn it upside down for a day or so, when you take the lid off, it's just all liquid and it's kind of dried out at the bottom here. So I always set it upside down for a day. Seems to work really well. So we got it pulled in the shop. Got all the windows and the handles taped off. Spraying a little self etching around the window molding. Went ahead and sprayed the grill with self etching just because it was plastic. Once we get all this done, we're going to tack the rest of this down. We're going to start shooting some primer.